Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Nana Jangice and Valentina Gunina. This game was played in St. Louis in 2020. Jangice had white pieces and she started with d4. Gunina played knight to f6. Bishop to g5, the Tompowski attack, maybe. d5, e3, c5, c3. If the white bishop was on f4, we would have the London system. Knight to c6, knight to d2, bishop to g4, attacking the queen, queen to a4. c takes on d4, e takes on d4. If c takes on d4, then white has less control over b4 square. Back to our game, e takes on d4. a6, knight on g to f3, b5, queen to c2. Black to move d6. h6 was another way to go. And if bishop takes on f6, e takes on f6. And if bishop goes to e3, then e6. That way black would save the h pawn. Back to our game. Queen to d6 was played. Bishop to d3. Rook to c8. And Jangitze cast at kingside e6, queen to b1, bishop takes on f6 was tempting to damage the pawn structure. We have queen to b1, black to move, perhaps bishop to e7 was expected or even h6. Gunina played knight to d7, removing the knight from the bishop and asking white to take on h7. Jangitze played a4. Queen to b8, a takes on b5, a takes on b5. Why to move? Should I take on h7 or not? Would you? Well, Jangitze accepted the challenge and captured the pawn. Bishop to e7, bishop takes on e7, king takes on e7. Bishop to d3, g5. Jangitze played g3. Let's take it back. What's wrong with winning the pawn? Well, that move has a tiny downside. And that is queen takes pawn on h2. Check, mate. That would be a severe punishment for capturing black h pawn. Back to our game. g3, black to move. Rook from c to g8 was split. Let's take it back. Rook to h5 was an idea worth considering. And one line goes like this. Queen to a2. Bishop takes on f3. Knight takes on f3. Rook from c to h8. After king to g2, g4. And if knight goes to h4, what else? After knight to h4, then Black and sacrifice the exchange. G takes on h4, rook takes on h4. And now after say rook to h1, queen to f4. And it seems that black has a compensation for the sacrificed exchange. If bishop takes on b5, then queen to f3 check. And black is not without a chance. Back to our game. Rook from c to g8 was played. Rook to a6, bishop takes on f3, knight takes on f3, g4, and now instead of knight to h4, knight to d2. The idea is to play knight to f1 and to defend the pawn on h2. The game continued. Queen to f8, rook to d1, knight from c to b8, rook to a8, queen to h6, Knight to f1, just on time. The white king is now safe, and black's attack on the king's side is dead. Gunina played b4. Bishop to b5. Rook to c8, queen to d3. Black has a difficult position, but with her next move, Gunina made it even worse. She played e5. Opening of the e-file can be good for the black king. The game continued. 
Bishop takes on d7. Knight takes on d7. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. D takes on e5. Knight takes on e5. Queen takes on d5. Knight to f3 check. King to g2. Queen to e6. White to move. Queen to b7 check. King to f6. Queen takes on b4. King to g7. Knight to e3. Knight to e5. Let's take it back. If rook to h8, queen takes on g4 check, winning the knight. Knight to e5, defending the pawn. Rook to d6, attacking the queen. Queen to e8, knight to f5, check. King to g8, queen to f4. Knight to g6, queen takes on g4. Black to move, queen to e5 was played. If rook to b8, then white would play rook to d7. And white wins. After say queen takes on d7, knight to h6, check wins the queen back to our game we have queen to e5 white to move how would you continue please pause and find the best move for white jangitsa played knight to e7 check discovered attack on the rook queen takes on e7 queen takes rook check king to g7 queen to c6 queen to e2 Attacking the pawn on b2. White played the move and black resigned and the move is... Rook takes on g6, check, and Gunina resigned. One simple line goes like this. Pawn takes rook. b4, black has no checks. Queen to c2, b5, queen to e2, b6, king to h6, b7, queen to e5, queen to c8, Black can give check on e4 now, queen to e4 check, king to h3, queen to f3, queen to h8 check, king to g5, queen to h4 check, king to f5, queen to f4 check, forcing black to trade queens. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, after any move, like king takes on f4, the pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.